And welcome back to this new Pizza Array Geometry Node Setup. Today I will show you the Easy Cloner. Okay, we are in a fresh Blender scene now. And first of all, let's import here the Easy Cloner by going to File, Append, and select the Easy Clone Blend File and go to Node Tree, Easy Cloner. And then let's delete the cube. And we want to use here uh, UV Sphere today. Let's go here to segments 10 by 10 is okay. And now we have to scale this one up. But when we are doing this, um, the scale uh, goes up too. <laughs> uh, but if you're, um, when we are adding the stuff later on the surface, um, the clone stuff will be scaled too. So it's really important that the scale is always to one. And to change this, we have to go to Object, Apply, and All Transforms. And then the scale is back to 1. Okay, let's um, yeah, rename this one here. And now we can go here to the modifier and add a Geometry Nodes and select the Easy Cloner. Let's hit here into the settings. And yeah, first of all, we need something to clone. I imported here. Uh, two different um, meshes. So first of all, we have uh, some cubes. One is a wireframe and one is a solid one. And um, you always have to put your meshes into a collection um, because when you want to use multiple stuff, um, that's easier to handle. So, and another one is here some, <laughs> some buildings or yeah <laughs> some some stuff so we can jump around with this okay let's uh, go here to geometry nodes and first of all let's select here uh, maybe the cubes and we can see that here are the cubes on our sphere right now and when we are having more than one mesh in our collection we can go here into the separate children and now we can see that um yeah, the positions are randomized because otherwise when it's on zero, we always have um, all the meshes on the same place. So now the wired frame one and the solid one are on the same point. If we don't want to have this, we have to turn on separate children. Okay, now we can go here into the seat and change this one to a random value um, if we want to. The next one is the uh, switch uh, on self visible on or off. Maybe you want to see your surface where you cloned all the stuff on. And another one will be here uh, align normal. And maybe for this one, we can change here the collection. So um, we are going here to buildings now, and now everything is um, yeah, to the upwards or cloned into the upwards. And when we are changing this to switch a line, um, now we can see that the stuff is um, yeah, uh, looking into the uh, normal direction. So um, maybe this is uh, important for you if you want to create something like this. With the next settings, we can um, change uh, the cloning from the self mod mesh to uh, another, um, to some other settings. So let's change this one to one and let's turn off the visibility here. And now we can um, yeah, change between a grid, a line, a circle and a curve. So we are now on a zero. So we are now in a grid mode. So maybe let's uh, increase here the um, grid settings. And now we are cloning here the stuff um, uh, with the grid. And now we uh, can go here to the last settings and change this to line. If you want to create a, a line to something like this. Ah, and now we can see that we have turned on switch align normal. So let's turn this one off. So everything is straight up. Yeah, that's um, the 
line settings. The next one will be a circle setting. So you can always go here and change the circle settings. And the last one will be a curve. So let's go here and do this one. Yeah, we need a curve for this. So let's go here and create a, what is it? A polygon. And maybe let's create here. Um, yeah, let's <laughs> increase here the radius and the sides to something like this. And it's important that you select 3D. You can always uh, go into the settings here and change this one to 3D here. Okay, let's uh, go back here to our geometry node settings and let's select here the polygon and now we can go here and increase the count. Okay, and if you are need some more stuff here in the polygon you can go into the edit mode and yeah draw here something or add something to it yeah and you can change here the count if you need to so for the last settings i want to go here and change uh, the clone stuff to cubes and um now let's bring back here some more cubes and let's see make this to an even number to something like this and let's yeah if you want to change here the scale you can go here to the min and maximum if you uh, want to have the same if you are adding here the same numbers you have uh, yeah the cubes even or your clone stuff even the next one will be here some rotation that's uh, yeah you can add here a keyframe as well so if you want to animate this one 360 then you have here some animations um, or you can add here some random rotation if you need some randomness in your animation or in your cloning maybe um, we can go back here to the buildings later i will show you what i mean yeah you can always uh, change the position of this one or you can go here with the random z values or x or y whatever you want to and you can animate this uh, as well so maybe let's go with this here and yeah then you can create some uh, <laughs> cool abstract animation if you want to mm. when we're going back here to buildings we have some <laughs> weird animations but i want to show you what you can do here with this random stuff so when we are going here and maybe let's say we have a city um so everything looks really even so we can scale this here a little bit down and make a little bit randomness here into um, the city and yeah you can go here and increase the z value or the x value or something like this and make more random stuff if you want to Another important thing is that your meshes, which you want to clone, are always here in the center of the scene on the zero zero, <laughs> on the zero zero zero, because otherwise um, your cloning will be distracted. So maybe let's uh, I will show you this one. If we are having here our object, and that's not in the center of the scene, um, the cloning will be um yeah the stuff will fly around and you can't get this uh together really so i hope you understand what i mean so that was the easy cloner tool and i hope this one will help you a lot you can get this one on blender market or on gumroad if you have any questions hit me on instagram or write me an email see you there and bye bye